here and as you guys know about the title I just got a new drum set um so I hope you guys enjoy the 1080 by 60 FPS quality uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it 60 FPS I'll try my best um but anyway uh, in this video yeah I'm gonna be showing off my new Ludwig drum set this drum set is literally like 40 years old I think that's what my dad said it was like it's like 40 years old exactly um, it's an old drum set but the sound of it is great so I'm gonna walk you guys through the uh, the drum set and then I'm going to get my GoPro and uh, record me uh, playing with it playing on the drum set and getting your guys opinion on the sound and everything of it but anyway here it is Not drum set as you can see it says Ludwig right there on the bass drum this is a Ludwig USA black drum set um, so I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, each drum and cymbal and accessories to uh, build this drum set and uh, before I start I just want to thank my dad especially because he paid like over two hundred dollars for this drum set now obviously I helped him out and stuff I mean I didn't give him money but I helped you know like set this drum set up and everything and get it comfortable and everything like that but he did most of the work for this drum set he was the one that got this drum set um he had to pay for the seat which I'm going to talk you guys through um and uh the pedal and everything that's a drum workshop pedal I love the red head on it I love it so much and he paid for that uh, little tambourine thing I actually don't even know what that's called surprisingly it's like a tambourine hi-hat top um, but it's really great for music, uh, for a drum set like this. Um, but this is a really great drum set, and you guys will hear how good the sound is of this drum set. I think it's, uh, pretty good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good, uh, drum set. It sounds really good, and I want to get your guys' opinion. So, if you like this, uh, drum set vlog video, uh, leave a like, and, uh, comment your opinions. Tell me what you think. But anyway, kicking it off. This is uh, my bass drum. I'm going to start with that, obviously. This is the Ludwig USA, uh, what does it say down here? Heavy Ludwig uh, black uh, bass drum. Um, I love the white uh, the white uh, um, head for it, the nice big head. Um, so yeah, I really like I really like the black theme. I was hoping for like a really good color, like a sunburst color or something. But now that I think about it, I really like the black theme because it goes great with like my TV and um, microphone and everything, and even my headphones too. Um, it's my gaming headphones and then my drumming headphones. So I really like uh, this drum set. There is like one flaw though. My room is uh, pretty small, so when you walk in, it might be sticking out a little bit, like right when you walk in the door path. So there's not a lot of room. I might have to clean my like my room up, like my bed and everything. But yeah, it is kind of a small room, so that is uh, one bad thing. As you can see, like the the ceiling, it kind of caves in a little bit. Um, so I had to move it out further. But anyway, um, next, uh, this is, I'm going to talk about, uh, my ride cymbal. This ride cymbal is, like, the best ride cymbal I've ever played on, I've ever heard in my life. I love this ride cymbal. This is a Sabian 21-inch, I believe, HH Heavy, uh, vintage ride cymbal. I love it so much. I love the nice stand of it. I love the silver of it. Um, it really has a nice, uh, tone to it. Um... As you guys can see, it says heavy. This is kind of like, this uh, ride cymbal is used for both, you know, like rock, heavy metal, and uh, mostly it's actually used for uh, jazz and uh, blues. It's kind of like a blues, uh, jazz uh, ride cymbal, but it still does great for rock music, um, especially with the bell. The bell, I really love the sound to it. It's a great sound. I love the tone to it, uh, you know, for some like that funk music. So continuing on, uh, I'm going to do my uh, Tom Tom. So once again, it fits with the black theme. Um, uh, this is my Tom Tom. Again, it has a has a Remo uh, head on it. Remo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Remo, Remo. I don't know. I can't even pronounce that. Like, I'm a drummer. Like, how do I not know how to pronounce that. I think it's Remo. Um, but it has a nice Remo head on it. <laughs> Don't hate in the comments. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's really great. I love the black and silver theme uh, once again. 
Um, and it is just great. Now, there's one flaw. Actually, there's another flaw about this uh, bass drum. Uh, there's only uh, one hole to put the tom-tom uh, -tom in. Gay! But, you know, um, it's still really great. So, uh, that's why I had to put this other rack tom over here because I can't have two tom-toms. So, I decided to place um, my ride symbol where my second tom-tom would be. Uh, so, I guess I will continue on with my symbols. I guess I'll start with this uh, dark crash. As you can see right here, it says a 17-inch, 43-centimeter dark crash symbol, um, crash, dark crash symbol. Um, uh, this symbol is really great. I actually got the symbol for free. Uh, my drum teacher, Ed, um, I asked him if I could uh, uh, maybe like keep uh, any symbols that he didn't use. He just gave me this one for free. Um, so thank you, Ed, so much. Um, I don't know if he's watching this video or not. Sometimes he likes to watch my videos to see uh, some of my drumming videos and stuff like that. Uh, but thank you, Ed, so much for the symbol. I really do enjoy it if he's watching this. Um, and once again, thank you, my dad, uh, for making this happen. But anyway, yeah, that is my symbol. I love the, uh, the sound. It has a n wonderful sound to it. Uh, moving on to my splash symbol. Uh, the writing got... Uh, wiped off there but as you can see it's a splash symbol this is yet again i these symbols like i love th these set of symbols that i have this splash symbol is again the best splash symbol i've heard in my entire life it i love the sound of it like, listen to that like oh like a sexy noise um and moving on i have another sabian crash symbol so i actually have two crash symbols this is a Sabian crash symbol. Uh, what does it say right here? This is a bright crash. And if I can actually read that correctly, it says, I believe that says 13 inches. I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Uh, ow. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a nice set of symbols now I have that I have. Um, so I'm going to move on with my hi-hat now. My hi-hat, I'm actually not going to keep for this drum set. I'm just going to have this hi-hat for now because uh, the old drum set that I had, that Red Rogers drum set, um, my, I'm actually going to be selling that, or my, my dad's actually going to be selling that because he's actually going to keep the money, uh, because, you know, he spent a lot of money on this drum set, I think I definitely owe him, so, you know, I decided for him to just keep the money, uh, but we are selling that other drum set, um, but the problem is we have to sell this hi-hat with that drum set because that hi-hat came with my old drum set, so I'm not going to have that hi-hat. Um, which is, which is kind of sucks, but, you know, I have it for now, so I guess I'll make it last. And I mentioned this earlier, I have a nice little tambourine top. Again, I don't know what you call it, but it's really great for, again, like that funk music and stuff like that, and that blues. Um, I love the sound of it. It's really great. Um, alright, so I've gotten the front. I guess I'll move on with this section over here. Um, alright, so... Moving on, I'm going to go with my rack tom. This is my rack tom right here. Again, it, uh, it has a nice uh, Remo uh, head on it. As you can see, it says uh, Desenso's Drum Shop in Weymouth, Massachusetts. Um, it is an unbelievable rack tom. I love the sound of it. Here, let me show you. Um, I love that sound to it. Um, you know, once again, I'm going to be recording with my GoPro and stuff uh, after I go get it, but that's going to be the tripod. Um, once again, once again uh, I can't talk. Uh, once again, I'm going to be, uh, you know, playing the drum set for you guys, so you guys will be able to hear uh, this entire drum set in one uh, awesome rhythms that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my rack tom. Uh, moving on to my floor tom. Again, I have the Remo uh, head right here on it. Uh, again, I like the black theme with the silver and everything. And my dad just got these new legs for this uh, floor tom. I have a nice... I have nice uh, free uh, black legs uh, for this floor tom. So yeah, that is the floor tom. Um, and I have uh, this tiny little tom tom right here. Yaman. Yeah, um, this is uh, my tom tom, a small little tom tom. I wish I had two because if I had two, um, I could have like you know like a little like pair, kind of like bongos sort of. Um, you know. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, and finally, uh, last but not least, uh, actually, no, I still have to do my uh, snare drum and uh, pedal and stuff. Uh, but uh, moving on to my cowbell. Uh, I love this cowbell. I actually forget where I got it. I got it at some drum workshop. I forget the name of it. Uh, as you can see, it says LP on the side. And I actually have no idea what that stands for. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is a nice um, uh, cowbell. It really fits for on the go. Everything like that. Um, um, 
So yeah, um, moving on to my snare drum. Again, it's a Remo uh, snare drum. It has a nice sound to it. I put this tape on so the sound would be a little bit thicker, I guess. And this drum set is huge. This is literally two uh, snare drums. Uh, did I say drum set? I meant to say snare drum. Um, <laughs> I'm all out of it today. Um, this uh, snare drum, this is basically like two snare drums in one whole snare drum. It it's, has a nice big sound to it. Like it, like it echoes, like it's echoing my entire room. Um, I mean, but like I'm, ca it, the walls are, the ceiling's like caved in, so it kind of echoes a little bit in this room. Um, but you know, uh, it's really good drum set, a drum s uh, snare drum. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, and last but not least, uh, my throne right here. Um, this is my beautiful uh, drum seat. It's very comfy. Um, I love it so much. Actually, it says right here, P D P. I don't even know what that stands for, but it's an awesome drum throne. Um, I love the stand to it. I love the black. Uh, I love the uh, nice black uh, thickness, thick cushion of this, and I love the silver stand that goes along with it. Oh, and uh, that's basically it, but I also forgot one more thing. This is the pedal that my dad got for me. I like the nice red head on it. Makes a good sound with my bass drum. That's what my bass drum sounds like, by the way. Uh, as you can see, it says DW on it, which stands for Drum Workshop. This is a drum workshop pedal, and it is really good for uh, when I'm playing and stuff like that. So that is basically uh, my drum set. So, um, yeah. So, um, I'm going to go downstairs and get my GoPro, and um, I'm going to test this sucker out. I already played it, like, a couple times, but I want to get your guys' opinion, so comment down below what you think of this drum set. It is an awesome sound, and I'm just going to jam out on this drum set, so uh, it's going to be a short little uh, drumming video. Um, drumming part of this video, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it.